Hi guys. <laughs> okay, this is my first ASMR video. I'm going to be doing soft speaking or whispering. Um, I look like this because I am experimenting with the scene, the scene style today. Um, yeah, that's about it. I just felt like it, so I did the scene type thing and I just did my hair and my makeup and stuff for the video and I'm going out tonight for my dad's birthday. Um I oh my first um ASMR experience was um I was in high school or middle school. I forgot exactly when I got my first experience but I was doing one um big test the teachers just decided to start whispering their conversation the whole time. <laughs> then I realized that I was so relaxed and my muscles were so relaxed that I couldn't even write my answers down. So that's when I realized that this is something going on. Then I started um, to notice what my triggers were, which was whispering uh, certain um, mouth noises like smacking of the lips or certain uh, uh, enunciations like k or k or uh, t or you know little things like that. Um, from the mouth really relaxed me and I one day decided to look it up because I was sick of um, only getting the experience in school when I have to um, stay alert and do work and stuff so I uh, decided to look it up online and I found ASMR and I realized there's a bunch of videos like this and I was really happy <laughs> and I've been watching them ever since um, finding more and more videos and guys I am so sorry I live with my family and I live with my parents and it's slowly getting loud as more and more people come home and I'm so sorry I waited um, a while because nobody was home before but this took a long time so if it gets too noisy, I might have to postpone this. But um, yeah, that was my um, first experience with ASMR, and um, I want to do my first. You know, I wanted to do my first video because I want to help with the experience experiences. Um, I couldn't think of anything, so I decided to finally this morning um, show uh, pretty much I have like a little clutter of creative stuff beside my bed um, it's never like an organized or anything of course that's how I am <laughs> but um, I took some of those out and I'm going to show you it's the sounds are um, paper books, flipping of paper and books, um, some bags and some water, and yeah, so I guess we can get started now, <laughs> um, I, I've been eating chocolate because of course that's beside my bed, of course, um, such a girl, I ate a piece already, I was gonna eat a piece now, but Sure, I should do an eating ASMR yet. Um, so I made this um, the wrapper. It's Dove chocolate, so they have little sayings in the wrapper, and it says, "You make everything lovely." <laughs> okay, um, so it's the wrapper. I'm sure you can all see some of this.
this bag light and dark chocolate. That is why I have a huge bag of dark chocolate dump. <laughs> one of those mirror cameras. That's why I get confused and I look like an idiot. I also have, I stole these from the kitchen. It's just chocolate chips. A bag of chocolate chips. I stole these <laughs> and I didn't give them back. And my mom's still looking for them. But yeah, these are chocolate chips. This is the bag they were in. Sleep survival kit. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have a book. I hope it's not that loud. Here's a pen. Inside my book, this was a journal for class. Um, I don't know what I have in here really. This is about me. Something about racism. <laughs> um, we have questions every day. This was about. This is even, no, I think it's still in high school. It's about um, sophomore year. I wrote about a kit that I had. Oh, well, I didn't have it. I found it, and I wanted it. But my grandmother didn't let me take it. But it was like meowing so loud for his mother. And I never saw the mother come. And it was so sad. I felt so bad for him, I just wanted to take him and hug him and love him. 
he was so small that um, he would have died anyway because, you know, they need special treatment and they need their mother's milk. So, um, but I was young then, so. Um, I was all day, I was just worrying about that kitten. And he was crying all day. And I'm like, where's the mother? Like, eventually, the crying stopped. He disappeared. I hope he was stayed alive. But, um, yeah, so I had to write up a, a story about it because it was bothering me so much. That my grandmother didn't let me take the kitten. So I, um, I, uh, I wrote about how, um, I just pretty much wrote about the scenario of what I just said. And I think at the end, all the, the kitten found his mother and they all just came to me and worshipped me or something. I don't know. <laughs> I was a kid, I have no clue what I wrote. But yeah, I wrote a story about a kitten. Um, do you believe in magic? That was my favorite one because I do believe in magic. Um, not like that, not like a crazy person, but like, you know, the wonders of life. And all that stuff. I guess you should see it. I'm just reading the pages. What about self help? making a new story right now, um, it's a love story, I always make love stories, because I'm a hopeless romantic, but I'm not going to share that with you guys, just to get, like a huge creative like binder type thing and I was like okay this is too huge to like have anything in it but I really did fill it up and it's exploding right now and it's huge so <laughs> that's how much of an artist I like to be but this is my binder and yeah it's exploding um, really all of my performing arts stuff throughout all four years of high school. Um, I have music. This is my music. This is me, I think. With red hair. And I always have short hair, so I drew myself with short hair. But it looks like a boy. <laughs> boobs. It has boobs. But, um, it says... Love me for who I am, the good and the bad, the sunny and the storm, the pretty and the ugly, the flawed and the perfect. If you really love me, you will love me for all that I am. And I hope I find you soon. Like I said, I am a hopeless romantic. Um... Beauty and the Beast. I have no clue when I'm going to put these to use again. I hope I find something. It's a kitty. Folder of creativity. It's a kitty. Alright, some fish. Fish. And kitty is inside the bowl. my 
favorite monologue in here. It's my favorite go to uh, um, audition. I have a monologue, but it's I think it's more for theater. Well, yeah, I think it's for theater. Um, it's about Neverland, of course, that's why it's my favorite. Uh, I don't know if I should do it. Um, it's whispers, you know, and monologues don't whisper, so I'm not going to take my monologue, but it's also good. Uh, this, I was also in the marching band, so I have some so much music from all three years of marching band and um, musicals. And in marching band, I played my first year, I played percussion, which wasn't like the marching percussion, the um, cool stuff. Um, it was auxiliary percussion, which is like a gong and a triangle and um, cymbal and all that stuff, and, um, it was, uh, it was fun, like, you don't play just one thing, you know, I had to keep track of all of these instruments at once, and, you know, play them all at the correct time, in the correct way, so, you know, I, I still felt special, um, and then I moved on to, uh, marimba, which is like a wooden xylophone, and, uh, Eventually, I was in charge of my section. I didn't have good leadership skills then, so <laughs> the musicals I have done are um, Beauty and the Beast, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, and um, two more. World Goes Round. Um, I'm sure I just did these two. Funny thing happened on the way to the forum, and one more. There's one more. Maybe it's just a technical dream code. I can't think of it right now. Yeah, I can't think of it right now, but that's what I. That's all the things I was in. showed you guys my art before in my, my vlog and stuff, so this was an art class I had in like elementary school, and these were my drawings, not elementary school, I'm sorry, like middle school, and these were my drawings, this was my drawing experience in middle school. <laughs> um, more drawings that I've done in middle school. I picked up the simplest shoe in my house. <laughs> I don't know what this is. We had to do a self portrait. And this is what I made. This is supposed to be me. <laughs> Something I made. We really just took household products. Your house or things, things around our house and the food.
one is horrible as well. I'm so glad I draw better now. I would be so angry if I still drew like that. When I was um, younger and I was in love with Peter Pan, and then the 2003 movie came out, and the boy that or 2006, 2006, and the boy that played uh, Peter Pan was named Jeremy Sumter. I was in love with him. I really was. <laughs> he was my first love. <laughs> so. Um, I made this letter for him. He never answered me. He never got back to me. And that was when my heart was broken. He was still my first love, though I still love him. Um, it says, Dear Jimmy Sumter, I used to just like Peter Pan, but when you played in it, I watched the movie every day. I love to see your pictures and your interviews. I always try to find the movies and shows that you play in, but I can never find them. The only ones that I could find is Peter Pan and Clubhouse. The ones that want to see, the ones that I want to see is Vocal Boys and the Sasquatch Dumpling Game. I heard that you want to be a director, and I want to be a director too. Oh my God. I want to be a director for so long. That's crazy. Because I'm in school and my path was writer director, but I changed it. And then my teachers were like, Why did you change it? You're a good director and you suck at the path you're going now. <laughs> so I have to change back to writer director. Seeing this really um, inspired me. Okay. Maybe director. or in a letter. I'm your number one fan. I think I see you once. Uh, I think to see you once will last me the rest of my life of happiness. From a very big fan, Brianna. After this letter, he did not get back to me. hope you like it. I really, really hope you like it. Um, if you have any suggestions, um, any critiques, any, um, any you would like to say, questions, anything you would like to say, just comment or um, inbox me, hit me up anyway, and yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys.